What happens to the Primal Warrior Soldier Conditioning Review? The Soldier Conditioning Review is based on the Army's new fitness test, the Soldier Conditioning Review, to test the um, abilities of soldier on six different elements of speed, endurance, uh, strength, stamina, um, and all different parts of fitness. In this, the Primal Warrior version, we're going to take those six elements, we're going to assess those, so you're going to individually assess those, take your own score um, on the Army scoring system of 1 to 15 points, and you're going to gain those scores so that at the end of the program, you will reassess those six elements and see how it is you've improved. Along with this, the program breaks down into three phases. The first phase, as I just said, is the soldier condition review assessments, the six assessments that you will um, have a go at, which are the broad jump, the ball throw, the uh, deadlift, pull-ups, sprint shuffle, shuttles, and 2K run. Those six elements also have alternative exercises. So if you don't have equipment like a barbell or a hex bar to do a deadlift with, then you can do an alternative exercise, which you can then use to measure your own success from week one to week six or week seven. The second phase of the soldier condition review is the weekly program. The weekly program or six week program breaks it down into weekly follow along programs. They are the strength and conditioning exercises that will help you to improve on your soldier condition review scores. At the end of each week, there will be a mini competition which will go into a leaderboard, which um, will then give you points, again, scoring from one to 15 to allow you to try and do your best and see what points you can score and compete against your peers to see who is the strongest, fastest, best at the exercises of the competitions. So each week at the end of each week's programmed um, exercises. Those six weeks and those six competitions will then tally up to your main score and then put you on that leaderboard. Uh, inside the app, you will have the ability to read through um, all the different stages of the um, solar conditioning review and also you will follow through in time. So it will be a uh, every day you have to tick off what you've done before you can move on to the next um, part of the programme. Uh, the coaches and myself will be taking on all the competitions each week as well. We are all following along this program ourselves as well. Um, and there will be comments in the uh, app to allow you to talk through what you've done and what everybody else has done. And we'll be starting on the first week of March 2021, in case this is going out later on. We won't be, yeah, the coaches won't be part of the overall leaderboard, but we will be on, posted on there. So you can try to do your best to beat us. Bring it on. Everybody will get a t-shirt to say that they have completed the soldier conditioning or the primal warrior soldier conditioning review. It's a mouthful, I know. But only the people who score the best will get a trophy. If you are in contention for the top scoring, uh, video evidence of your competition will be needed. Not that I don't trust you, but if anybody's thinking, oh, I'll just put 15 points on each one, not going to happen. Phase three is reassess. So at the end of the program, you'll then go and reassess all the things you've done uh, in the first week, the first day, and see if you have made improvements. And we all make improvements on every element because that's the point of it. I don't think myself or any of the coaches will score 15 on most of the, the elements. Equipment needed for this program is a minimum of a ability to have some kind of pull up or pulling exercise. Now, ideally would be a deadlift bar, something to deadlift your max score, um, but a, a, any kind of dead weight which you can farm as walk or clean that you can do a timed element to, to see if how your, what you score, that is um, the minimum standard, and a pull-up bar. If you don't have a pull-up bar, playgrounds, 
uh, height restriction bars as you drive into car parks, trees, TRX strappings that you can strap around, Olympic rings, like so in the background, any of those um, things will then obviously give you the ability to do the minimum of the exercise towards that. Um, there are alternatives for anybody who can't do things like a one pull up, that's fine. There are alternative exercises. However, scoring of max of one, uh, six points if you are using an alternative exercise so that you can't go on to score 15 points because you did a TRX rows versus somebody doing full pull-ups. It's just not the same. Uh, but don't worry, six is quite a high score. <laughs> but use your integrity in that. Equipment, so if you're, we're going on to the soldier conditioner review assessments on day one. Whatever you do in day one, you need to be doing in day 50 odd when we get to the end of the program. Because that will be your assessment versus for you versus you, so that you can see how you've improved. Different parts of equipment then. So the first um, exercise or the first uh, test is a broad jump. Obviously you just need to tape measure, don't need anything, you shouldn't have, need alternatives. The second one is the ball throw. Any kind of weight that you've got that will imitate four kilos or something above that to add on some distance, as it says in the write-up, 15 centimetres per kilo. You go over the four kilos. Um, the idea is just to throw that as far as you can, so it doesn't really matter if it's um, heavier and you score less, because obviously you'll get more points. The um, deadlift is obviously one of the ones that's the hardest because that's um, a hex bar or Olympic bar. Not a lot of people obviously own one of those, or even just a weights bar if you've got a weight bar with lots of weight. Um, if you're switching that from alternative like a farmer's walk, then pick something up that's really heavy. Otherwise, you're just going to walk for ages, and then when you come to test it again, you'll have to walk for ages again. But if you test yourself against the heaviest thing you have available to carry for a farmer's walk, and then do that again in week seven, then you will have a fair measurement of what you've, how you've improved. Um, if you're doing kettlebell cleans, then again, use the same weight when you go from day one to the last day. Um, if you haven't got any of those bits of equipment and you've picked an alternative, so like you're doing press-ups or explosive press-ups, that's obviously a way of testing how far you could push, how far you can throw, it's the same position. If you're doing um, something obscure because you don't have anything for the deadlift, like a vertical jump, for example, jumping, touching your pie. It doesn't matter as long as you can test that in the last day because you want to see your progress. Um, when we come to uh, the competitions, there shouldn't be, so at, at the end of each week, there shouldn't be uh, the need for much equipment. I think the only thing you need is a pull-up bar or a TRX. With the TRX, if you're using the alternative on, I think it's week five, um, then, Obviously, we want to um, we want to make sure that we're taking a few less points or we're adding a, a lot more reps on so that it equals the same sort of pull as what a pull-up would do. Um, max points are six points on that anyway, um, if you're using an alternative. Uh, I think that should cover it for equipment. Anything will do with, with the way to which you're measuring it, as long as you do it week one, week seven, the same, that will give you that. And in the competitions, mostly body weight anyway, so it should be okay. All the competitions, remember, are there to help you to get better from week day one to the last day as well. So there are movements which will improve your movements that you did from day one to day seven. Any other questions, ping them over. Put them in the comments of the app on the Primal Warrior Challenge, and we'll go through uh, week by week and see where it is you are and join us as we join as we start have fun